This morning we're getting a first look at the progress crews working on the new concert venue at the banks, the Andrew J. Brady Icon Music Center. How exciting to be on the inside uh, this morning. WCPO mm -hmm. 9 News reporter Allie Kramer joins us uh, from inside right now. Good morning, Allie. Hey, good morning, guys. I just literally ran up the stairs to be able to get up here to the balcony to show you a kind of a look at the Icon Music Center from a different point of view. So when you're in the balcony, of course, there's actual seating or you can be in general admission spot, kind of this downtown down below us, of course, uh, being a little bit closer to the stage. This morning, we're joined by Rosemarie Mooring and Rosemarie, talk to us a little bit about the feeling in here. It's a lot different now that we're up here in the balcony. It is. Um, the venue is definitely built in an intimate setting so that even if you're in the second balcony, you still feel like you're right on top of the stage. We also have some unique features on the side of the stage. You'll see the headliner and spotlight sections. So they're general admission standing sections, but you have the views of the balcony, which is, um, I think, unique to many venues. I'm surprised at how many people fit inside and then how many outside? 4,400 inside flexible capacities um, and outside is up to 8,000. And talk to me a little bit about the outside because that's really cool too. You've got two venues in one here. We do. So the outdoor stage, um, we have the synthetic turf out there, so it's going to be a great fan experience. We're also just the proximity to the Banks Entertainment District with Dora now that just um, was in, um, yeah. just got done a couple weeks ago. So people can get a drink at one of their bars before the concert, walk on down, finish it before they come in. The outdoor stage, um, we're going to have a lot of great concerts out there, uh, concessions out there, just a great experience all around. Now, this was a $30 million project. We were talking about how long it took back in 2019 when you started construction. It feels like it kind of flew by because of the pandemic. Everything you know, it was still going on down here. Um, how exciting is it to finally be able to announce some of these artists and acts coming? It is I can't even tell you how exciting it is. I've been doing this for 20 years and I promise I will never take for granted going to another concert again. The pandemic, I think, showed all of us how much we miss music and how much music means to us. So we are, um, we're excited to be able to bring that back to the fans and especially here in Cincinnati. Will there be COVID protocols because we're sort of winding down and vaccinations, things like that? So we, we do expect in July when we do open at the end of July, uh, we're gonna be at 100% capacity. Uh, masks will be a patron choice not a venue policy but we also do have like an HVAC system with an ionization technology to oh, it yeah. that will kind of zap out if you will the COVID-19 virus within 30 minutes we have touch touchless fixtures um, at the concession stands you all you have to do is tap your phone if you have Google Pay or Apple Pay so things like that we're definitely taking into consideration all right, guys, and I have been trying this morning to figure out who exactly is going to be the big first show. They're going to announce it on Tuesday, so you better believe we'll share that with you. But I have not been able to figure it out just yet. I'll keep trying, but um, for now, guys, we'll send it back to you. You're not trying hard enough, Allie. <laughs> we sent you there for a reason. <laughs> Get it done. <laughs> I'm hoping for some country music. How about that? Maybe. Yeah, maybe someday Garth will actually show up. That's been postponed now three times. Yes, <laughs> yes. Thanks, Al.